Okay, sad day today. After two and a half years of using my um, tandoor oven I made in the garden, I now have a major crack in one of the pots. I mean, it can't be repaired, but it's just, it's so silly because it's a mistake by me. And let, let me show you the damage and what I've done and, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and you, you can learn from this. There you have it, one big crack. Um, so, a bit frustrating, and you're probably saying, well, what caused that? Well, a couple of things. First of all, I haven't used the oven for about a month now. We're in the middle of winter, so it's a little bit, possibly a little bit damp. And I'm doing a whole load of um, chicken tikka as a batch lot. So I decided to ramp up the heat, so I put a whole a lot of coals in there. So I think that strong heat, on top of like a potentially damp oven, has caused a crack. And to give you an idea, I put a temperature gauge in there, so that's been in there some time now. Unfortunately, that temperature gauge only goes up to 950 Fahrenheit. Yes, 950 Fahrenheit. And it went whoosh straight off the scales. And you can even see the glass is cracked. It was that hot. Um, it's starting to cool down now. Still hasn't come down to 950. I don't know what temperature it got up to. But uh, I think that's uh, the reason why we've got the crack. Um, sorry about all the noise. We've got the chickens around next to me at the moment. Um, but yeah, that is a, a major crack. But... Well, two and a half years I've survived without um, such a crack, but it's annoying because it's my own fault. It's me being impatient, overloading it, and I've gone and cracked the, the big pot. Here's another view of the pot from the outside. You can see that crack again. But if I go around, fortunately the outside pot is perfect. And actually, interestingly, you've seen the temperatures, but I can actually put my hand on it outside and. Uh, yeah, skin's not coming off, which is uh, really positive. Um, so that's showing how good the installation is. So there you have it. Uh, a little bit depressing, mainly because it was caused by um, this uh, this muppet here. But let's look for the positive. You always got to look for the positives. So first of all, the outside pot is in perfect condition. That's really good. Can we still use it? Yes, I think so. I'm, in fact, I'm going to use it in a minute to cook some chicken tikka. Looking at it now, the temperature is still above 950 Fahrenheit, but once it comes down a bit more, I'll try cooking it. I'm monitoring the situation over the next month, uh, so you can watch my videos on the channel. I can actually replace the pots and completely repair it. You know, new pots, new inner pots, all I've got to do is just take them out, put new ones in. That'll cost me between 10 and 15 pounds which is not bad for two and a half years of service from a tandoor. And uh, so it's completely repairable, as I say, only for like 15 pounds. Uh, and I think I can carry on using it. Um, what other positive? Well, I suppose the big positive is I can actually share this with you guys so you can learn from my mistakes. Um, and people often ask me, do you have problems with cracks? And I say, no, I sometimes get a few small ones. Um, to, uh, Sorry about that, I was just interrupted. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so you're often asking, do I get uh, cracks in my pot? And then I've always said yes, but it's always been small, fine cracks, which hasn't affected uh, the oven until today. Today I got a major crack. And probably you're doing the same as what, you're doing the same as what I just did, i.e. you're overloading the oven. So typically I only have a small number of coals in there uh, and it's been fine. This time I put a lot more coals in there and you can see like I'm looking down here now and the temperature is still above 950 Fahrenheit and I, I lit this <laughs> this is about over an hour ago so I completely overloaded it so maybe you're you're doing the same. Anyway I hope this video has been helpful or useful to you. Um, if you want to see more of these videos or you want to see how I get on with the oven then uh, subscribe to my channel here and uh, thank you for viewing. Oh and also I'm going to cook in a minute, so I'm going to cook the chicken tikka. So if you want to see how long that takes to cook, um, well, I'll put the link to that video here once it's there. Cheers. Thank you for viewing.